Hi, this is KB2MXV. Um, just want to show show you something that I uh, read online today. I have an open spot, a Shock RF, and a lot of times I don't use it. Uh, you know, if I'm not looking to talk DMR or, um, you know, the, the open spot sits here, uh, you know, off because I just don't use it. Um, so what I found out today is that on your Shock RF, uh, when you connect to Brandmeister, like right here, you can see I have no static torque groups and no dynamic torque groups. A dynamic torque group is something that uh, um, when you key into on the radio, your open spot will, will use it, um, you know, temporarily for 15 minutes and then it'll disconnect it. But what I found out is that if you create an account on Brandmeister, you can add static torque groups to your open spot so basically what that does is your open spot will start receiving your static torque groups and you could add multiple uh, up to 32 um, torque groups on, on your list and basically your DMR uh, open spot uh, becomes a scanner so um, if I go to my login page on, on Brandmeister here uh, down at the bottom it says static torque groups um, so what I can do here is start adding uh, torque groups. So I'll add uh, 310, and that's attack 310. I'll add uh, 3142, which is the Pennsylvania torque group. I'll add 3172, which is a Northeast US torque group. I'll add 3185, that's a PA, uh, Cactus uh, torque group, uh, 3435, which is a New York, New Jersey, and Pennsylvania torque group, and uh, 31362, 31362, that's a New York City uh, metro torque group, and let me just finish going down the list, uh, 31365, that's a New York City repeater, K2MAK, uh, 31366, which is a New York City uh, local Aries repeater, 314235, that's K3TIs, that's uh, Bucks Amateur Radio Club's uh, repeater, and uh, 314254, which is WR3IRS. Uh, which is a Wilkes-Barre DMR machine. I'll add 31421, which is a Pennsylvania TAC group. And I'll also add 9911, which is an emergency talk group on DMR. So now that all these uh, talk groups are set up as static here, uh, when I go back to my open spot, and I refresh my static page, my status page. You see all these Brandmeister link static talk groups. So anytime anything comes over these talk groups uh, through Brandmeister, what happens is uh, it automatically gets pushed to my open spot. So my scanner now is set up to receive everything my open spot hears and everything comes in, uh, my scanner starts picking it up. So besides scanning local stuff, I can also uh, have the scanner listening to my open spot, and whenever something transmits on any of these uh, torque groups, it comes through my scanner. So it's like adding a bunch of torque groups to my scanner. Um, on my DMR radio, I created a frequency with my uh, open spot, I created a channel with my open spot frequency. I called it OS scanner, open spot scanner. Uh, I'm not transmitting on it, but my group list I set up is called OS scanner, open spot scanner. So if I go to my digital receive group called OS scanner, here you'll see all the groups I just added to my, uh, to the static uh, Brandmeister uh, open spot. So uh, my radio, if I go to this particular channel called OS scanner, it will receive all these talk groups. 
So if I want to listen to it on the DMR radio, I can listen to it there, or my scanner will also receive it. So this is a good way to utilize your open spot uh, uh, when it's just sitting around. You could uh, use it as a little scanner. All right, hope that helped out. So here's my scanner. Uh, it's sitting on my open spot channel, and it's picking up. Uh, right now, it's picking up TAC 310, which is one of those static talk groups. All right, so you, you do need a scanner that's capable to receive DMR transmissions, but here's a scanner uh, listening in on uh, my open spot. And it's also scanning uh, you know, my rest of my analog channels.